टुडे वी आर लिस्निंग स्टोरी वन वन इलेवन स्ट्रीट डॉग्स लिव इन वेर एवर सिटीज एग्जिस्ट एंड ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन अलाउ दे आर स्टिल फाउंड इन इंडिया इटली रोमानिया रशिया इवन इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका कूपर डॉग वॉज लिविंग इन अ बिग टाउन ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका He doesn't remember his mom now. He found himself growing in that street. He was not good looking. He usually thought he could not understand why everybody dislikes him, asking him to go away by waving hand high in the air. Some bad boys of a gang eventually hurting him by hard kick at any part of his body and painful cry. come out of his mouth at that time but he never became aggressive towards anybody he used to search food from dustbins he finds them open and find lamb or chicken bones or sometimes only bread pieces outside the takeaway restaurants thrown by customers isabel was now alone her dad bob left her 3 months ago after a long illness actually he was quite old he was a good god's man he had have a small shop of small things candles pictures frames of jesus christ rings lockets designed cross handbands with pictures of jesus christ on church road isabel born in very late age so she was just 16 at the time she left alone by bob she was beautiful simple and shy girl passed basic education in a school very near to her house but now she had to go to the shop earn money and live on her own after a week it was first day she was going to the shop she had to go through the street where bad boys gang lying all day long doing mischievous activities pranks with young old or children even dogs when they saw isabel alone they knew everything about the unfortunate departure of her dad they all started commenting first then made a circle around her and started teasing her she at first tried to run away from them but failed she screamed then shouted pooper heard and ran towards that place and started barking first very hard then started attacking them one by one for the first time he was looking so arrogant they never had seen all cooper's anger burst out at that time they all started running and cooper was chasing them after 5 minutes cooper came back all bad boys vanished isabel was still standing and trembling cooper came near her she started stroking him both of them were feeling very good protected and safe with each other's company